I'm Mrs. Williams, and it's time for TikTok. Today, we're going to talk about an activist artist named Faith Ringgold, who's still alive today. She'll be 90 years old this fall. She was born in 1930 in Harlem and spent much of her life here in Bergen County in Englewood, New Jersey. She was the youngest of three children, but Faith had asthma, so she had to spend a lot of time indoors with her mother, who was a fashion designer and taught her how to sew and work creatively with fabrics. As she grew up, she decided to turn her interest in art into a career, so she studied art education in college and became an art teacher. While she was creating her art, she became an activist too. Do you know what that is? Activism is something you do to try and change people's ideas and behavior. She painted a series called American People, which showed the civil rights movement from a woman's perspective. Here are a couple of pictures from that series. Can you see the influence of Cubism in these pictures? Faith Ringgold fought for the rights of women and minorities to exhibit their arts in museums, too. She organized protests to persuade museums like the Guggenheim and Metropolitan to include artists like her. Before that, most art was by white men only. Have you been to these museums? Now you can see art by all kinds of people. Faith wrote and illustrated books about activism, too. Do you know who Harriet Tubman was? She was an activist with the Underground Railroad, and one of Faith Ringgold's books is about her. Most of all, Faith Ringgold tried to change people's minds through her art. What do you see women doing here? Driving a bus, a doctor instructing a student, a police officer, a construction worker, a woman president, and basketball players? All jobs that in 1972, when she painted it, were only for men. Some of Faith's most famous works are quilts. Her work was influenced by African art, Impressionism, and Cubism, like we looked at with Picasso. Did she use more dark colors or light colors? She liked to use dark and vivid colors, like African art, rather than light colors. And the figures and shapes are stylized and flat, not three-dimensional and detailed like a photograph. She liked to frame her quilts with designs like they did in Tibetan quilting. Faith always said that the story her pictures told was more important than the style. And many of them are about freedom too. She said this girl is so free that she can fly. So for our project, we want you all to think about a freedom or something you feel strongly about or want to change. It could be something that you have but not everyone does or something more general. In these times when we all have to stay home, it could be the freedom to go to school, the freedom to be healthy, freedom to hug my friends, freedom to go where I want, freedom to play soccer, whatever you like. The supplies we're gonna need for today's project are paper, a pencil with a good eraser, markers or colored pencils or crayons, whatever you wanna to use to color your picture, some construction paper or pattern paper or wrapping paper that you can use for a frame, and a glue stick to attach your picture to the frame. So if your paper is not a square, you're gonna to wanna to cut it into a square because quilts are usually made up of squares. In fact, we call them uh, quilting squares. So just cut it off so it's a square like this. Now you wanna grab your glue stick and glue your square paper onto the center of whatever paper you pick for your frame. So now you have to think of a freedom that you want to use for your work. Faith always said that the story is the most important thing in her art, so think of something that really matters to you. I think in these times when we can't be together, I'm going to pick freedom to be together. So take your marker and write your freedom all around the frame of your art. If you need help with your writing, just ask a parent or older sibling to help. Now you have to think about what kind of picture you want to do to represent your freedom. You could do something that's more complicated or something that's more simple. 
think I'm gonna do something more simple. When my friends and I are together, one of the things that we like to do is go and get ice cream. So I think I'm gonna do a picture of ice cream. Something like this. I'm gonna start by drawing my picture in pencil so that I get it just the way I want it. Then I'm gonna color it with markers, or crayons, or colored pencils. I think I'll make them waffle cones because those are my favorite. Now I'm gonna color my picture. I'm gonna color it first with some crayons and then I'm gonna outline it and do the details in marker. Making this one strawberry and this one mint chocolate chip. And the last one we mango, delicious. There, now my picture is all done. When your picture is all done, have your parents take a picture of it and email it to us at tiktok.org.p at gmail.com. And then we're gonna put them all together and make a freedom quilt and we'll post it on tiktok.org, uh, our website. And we'll also put it on our uh, Facebook page, TikTok Docents. So take a look for that next week and remember to send yours in to us. Enjoy the project.